All right, and we are live, everybody. Good morning, Adam Levine from NYC Domain Info and uh, Community on Google Plus. And I have like such exciting news. I'm so excited. Uh, we have a live guest today, Fernando Cabrera Councilman from District 14 in New York City. Let's give it up a little round of applause. He's here to talk to us about .NYC, <laughs> new top level domain. So, Councilman, thank you for joining us. So happy that you're here. Well, Adam, thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to uh, speaking to you about a topic, an exciting topic that uh, you have put forth. That's awesome. Uh, so, well, let's get right into it. Where uh, I know you're a busy guy. You've got many, many things to do. So let's just ask you a couple quick questions. So the first question that we have for you, Councilman, is how excited are you that New York City is one of the first, well, it's basically the first city in the United States to get its own top-level domain? Tell me your thoughts on that. I'll tell you, Adam, as being the former chair of the Technology Committee and New York City Council member and living in the Bronx, uh, Really, really excited about this. Look, New York City is, is the most exciting city in the entire world. It is the most known city in the entire world. I have traveled to about 30 countries worldwide, and I have yet to find a place uh, where I go where people don't know about New York City. There is New York City uh, carries a there's a stature to it. There is a there's a gravitas to the to the name. And so uh, it's, I think it's fitting uh, they'll be the first one in the United States. And this is something that I think a lot of people are going to want to tap into. No doubt about it. And that's great. It really does. New York City is uh, it's worldwide. It's big time, right? Exactly. So, all right. So at, with all that excitement and everything that is going on with this new top-level domain, .nyc, what do you feel might be one or two of the most important uh, impacts that that are going to occur when that NYC really comes into play as they launch it through their stages. Yeah, Adam, I, I, I thought about long about this because one, we're going to have availability. You know, a lot of domain names, uh, the the .dot coms, the .dot org, even .dot us, and and the other ones have been taken up. And so, for small businesses, for nonprofit organizations, and other organizations in which didn't have an opportunity years ago to tap in into a .nyc that carries their name or related to what they do, uh, it's going to be a free fall now. You know, they're going to have the availability and that's going to lend to second to visibility. And I think that's the most exciting piece for me that whenever people begin to Google something related to their business or related to whatever their mission is, uh, they're going to be able uh, to be more visible uh, to the public out there that uh, it's going to be able to connect them and I think that's the whole idea of the internet is to be able to have connectivity in a way that is much faster, more efficient and more effective uh, than just word of mouth or any other means. So I'm really really excited uh, about those two uh, pieces uh, that uh, beforehand, uh, and also it's going to be the affordability. So we got visibility, accessibility, and affordability because some of these domain names are just gone up to the roof. Where again, some of the small businesses or have not been able to tap into because some of the big league uh, corporation uh, were able to 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 gain uh, access to them now. Uh, on that first day, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people trying to get into this .nyc and it's going to hopefully be a, a fair play. And that's one of the things I've spoken about, Adam, at the New York City Council hearing to make sure that you know there's a fair, equitable way to go about um, gaining some of this .nyc rather than to have some of this big corporation just gobble them all up and then just skyrocketing the, the prices. Right. Well, it's good that you say that because it, it really looks like they're, they're getting a, a solid handle on, on, the, on the launch rollout with the different phases and when everybody will be able to come in, like you say, for like the free-for-all type of thing and have equal accessibility. And then they'll end up going ahead and they'll do some bidding if they need to do, but it does give a tremendous opportunity in a, a tremendous landscape for a small business to really take advantage and capture the hyper-local hyper search engine optimization that they've been looking for that they haven't been able to find with, like you say, some of these bigger companies gobbling up all these names. Absolutely. So, 
That's great. So as long as we're talking about you know benefits with with uh, the small businesses and and the cool things that can happen, out of like all the cool businesses that you know, because you know a lot of businesses doing what you do, um, you know, what are some of the ones, uh, maybe one or two, that you're most excited to see? Like, who's going to get their .NYC first? Oh, wow, there's so many. I mean, look, uh, from the Bronx, first of all, I have to say Bronx.NYC. I mean, I think that's going to be a hot one. <laughs> uh, because anybody who wants to do business in the Bronx or looking to, to see how they can tap anything into the Bronx, and that will go, uh, you know, all across... Uh, throughout, but I mean, I mean, from the big uh, corporations, I, I hope again that they don't go after the little one. But look, I, I'm very business oriented, very community oriented. So you know, the mom and pop uh, pizza places um, where people are going to want to look quickly for you know to uh, uh, picante, picante restaurant. You there know, you go. In. You know, all of those uh, s small mom and pops. Uh, kind of a business, they're going to be able, th those are the ones that gave me, to be honest with you, the most excited. Right, so like Picante Picante dot NYC, that, that looks exactly. good, right? And by the way, that's an excellent restaurant, it's the well, best Mexican restaurant in all of the Bronx. You can be sure I'm putting it on my list of things to do when I come down to meet you in person. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, we'll put it down, no doubt about it. Your family was from, so I don't know, it's, 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 it's uh, close to Broadway. So it's, Sounds it's, perfect. In nice fact, I'm starting to get hungry already. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, I really appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your busy day to, you know, come join and, and talk to our community and, and spread the word about .NYC. So I thank you, sir. And uh, your final thought would be? Well, my final thought is, Adam, thank you so much because, you know, whatever people are not up on, they're down on. And we need to let uh, the public, the small businesses out there know that this is coming into being. There are many of them that still don't know. And so I, I thank you for being innovative, uh, doing it through Google Plus, by uh, letting the word out and uh, in having that uh, ripple effect uh, in terms of communication so everyone could know what's coming up. So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, sir. The pleasure was all mine. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll have all the links to Councilman Fernando Cabrera down underneath in the description of our video. And of course, we'll make the link available to him so he can send it out to the wonderful businesses within his own community. All right. Thanks a lot, Councilman. Thank you. Take care. All right. So.